What's up everybody? We are pl um, looking at Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. So here on this attempt we're only doing this thing a little bit casually, so what we are going to be doing today is looking at some multiplayer, most specifically the lab. So Naughty Dog's been generous enough to give us an extra mode in amongst all the multiplayer suite called the lab. So, um, what the lab is, is just um, various experimental game types, uh, just to throw out there, and it rotates every, um, well, however often Naughty Dog wants it to rotate, I'm pretty sure it's once every week, or so many weekends in a month, they'll um, have this thing called the lab. Uh, so the very first lab was snipers and pistoles as the primary weapons. Uh, this one we're looking at now is uh, just straight up RPG 7s. Now, myself personally, as a casual gamer, not a huge fan of the campers that have their sniper rifles and, and strictly rely on that kind of um, weaponry to win a game. Um, RPG really levels the playing field. Uh, not a whole bunch of skill, um, just your wits, uh, a big ass explosive gun, and that's pretty much it. So let us up in the top left hand side I have a RPG equipped with 99 shells. And primary oh sorry, secondary weapon is a pistol, it has no ammo whatsoever. So the only way we're killing people in this game, getting killed in this game, uh, primarily by rockets. Um, there's a couple of grenades spread out around the level. Uh, and also your general melee and, and pull down moves and stuff like that. So I want to try and demonstrate the lab, because uh, it's certainly a, an interesting way to keep the game fresh. Uh, Naughty Dog introduced the concept with Uncharted 2 uh, multiplayer as well, that was uh, very, very successful. Uh, so I got a kill, but I'll kill myself. So for those of you watching that have not played Uncharted 3 before, I would highly recommend if it's not part of your library just to go out and buy it at the next possible chance. Um, Naughty Dog really got the controls down and game types down for um, multiplayer. And the storyline of single campaign, in my opinion, should have been game of the year. See if we can find somebody to yep. throw an RPG at. Here's one. Yep. And there I go. So respawning is pretty cool. You can actually um. Naughty Dog have implemented what's called a buddy system, so you buddy that with um, a player and a member of your team that you can just um, spawn on once you sort of reach your spawn count time. Uh, obviously you're not able to spawn on that person uh, if there's heaps of enemies around or they're dying or whatever the case might be. So, kill for a kill. So, the scores down the bottom right. Uh, it's pretty easy to follow. Um, green is the is the team that you're actually playing on. Uh, red, obviously, the opponent. And the goal is how many kills you got to get. So, 17 down out of 50. So, we'll keep plugging away. Um, 
what that guy was doing there, as you can see, was a taunt. Um, so if you're standing still and you press X, you can taunt over somebody. Uh, not a wise idea to be doing that in a game like this. So strike three, you got three kills in a row. Pretty happy about that. Um, uh, I was going to say, as a casual gamer, that doesn't happen very much. Yeah, so as I was saying with the buddy system, yeah, you can choose to spawn on your buddy, or you can just choose to spawn in a random spot. Uh, I've noticed just playing RPG 7 this weekend, it's probably not a wise idea to spawn on your buddy if you can avoid that. Simply because sometimes I've, s I've spawned on the buddy just as he's copped a rocket. So obviously the um, the person who's fired that rocket has scored themselves a double kill. So always good to avoid that. Finding it hard to find some opponents. There's one. Not sure how we survived that. So I'll cop that one. So as you can see here, we've got what's called a power play happening. So at the score is 27-32 to them. So they have what's called a power play just to give the the losing team who's getting there. Well, let's be honest, who's been getting their ass kicked just an opportunity to catch up. So if you kill the Mark Man, I believe it's worth two or three, maybe. I'm going to say two. I'm not 100% sure. So we've rallied. So as you can see, it's 33 apiece. So it just—it's just a bit of a an opportunity for the losing team just to catch up a bit, just to save. Um, yeah, teams getting reamed each time they play. I'm not sure all the action is at the moment. I'm having difficulty finding. People are finding me, no worries. They dropped a treasure. Kill for a kill. Thirty-five, forty-one. It's not an ideal video to be demonstrating this on, but um, the basic idea of it was just to give you guys an idea of what multiplayer Uncharted is actually like. Uh, in my opinion, it's a very pleasant change to freaking Call of Duty and all those sort of games uh, that are around your first-person shooters, which get very boring and repetitive. Uh, these ones here, um, Naughty Dog, uh, the creators of this game. I really, really got it right. Fodo, 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 you are an asshole. You killed the first one. Fucking asshole. I'm on your team and you kill me. Stupid guy. Okay, you're gonna get douches on your team or other teams that. I don't have something to what say, especially with the RPGs. So, villains are taking out that one. So there it is, that's um, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception multiplayer. Um, so that's a lab. What I'll do just quickly before we end this video uh, is just give you an outline of what other multiplayer games are available. So we've got Typical Team Deathmatch, 
um, plunder, which is to capture the flags. Uh, team objective, so you got um, various different rounds of different activities to do as a team. Uh, three teams are good in cooperation, so it's um, teams of two going around in a deathmatch style um, with a maximum of three teams, uh, which is very good for your espionage type players. Uh, free for all, um, eight players, every man for himself. Hardcore, much the same. I'm not sure whether that's team or not. I'm pretty sure it's free for all, but um, there's no kickbacks, medals, or boosters. Uh, elimination is a new mode recently added. Um, so it's basically um, team versus team, and the team with the most players at the end is obviously the winner. Uh, lab, we've been spent spending a bit of time talking about, and the remainder, of the remainder left is a co-op. So there's co-op arena, which is like a, a horde mode, I suppose you'd call it. Um, Hunter, uh, very very similar, except you're playing against other people as well as uh, the hordes. Uh, co-op adventure is just story-based missions, and co-op shade survival. And without giving any spoilers, there, that's just um, basically some gameplay with the end creatures, I suppose you call it, uh, of the game. So there you have it. Highly recommend getting yourselves a copy of this. Um, lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Um, many different ways to level up, many different modes. Uh, so Naughty Dog, definitely keeping it fresh. Um, so yeah. Uh, by the way, gamer tag is Sunday Dan. Uh, feel free to add. Uh, add me. Uh, happy to have a game at, at whatever point you guys are online. So thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next video.